Hi, I'm Uncle Carl. Welcome to Twin Moons Tavern. Today we're doing the Christmas classic, eggnog. Eggnog is one of those things that a lot of people have, but they only buy it from the store in the carton, and it's not the same as making it yourself. So I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. There's two basic different methods. One involves cooking and one doesn't. We're going to do the uncooked version. So we have to have pasteurized eggs. As far as the USDA is concerned, using a raw pasteurized egg is perfectly fine and safe. So being called eggnog, we're going to start with our eggs. We need five eggs and we're just going to very carefully break them into a bowl, trying to keep them intact. Now I do have to separate these later on. You could separate them as you go, but as soon as I start doing more than two or three, that becomes a lot more work than I think is necessary. Then you also have a larger chance of screwing up and breaking your yolk. So I'm just cracking them in a bowl. And now that I have my five eggs uh, broken, I'm gonna go ahead and separate them. I have a large serving spoon with holes in it or slots and basically I'm just scooping it up and I'm letting the uh, white drip through the slots and that separates it really nicely and again as soon as you're doing more than a few eggs I think this method is way easier way faster and just safer in general and when I say safer less likely to break a yolk now if you don't get all the white separated from all the yolk don't uh, fret about it. Just try to get as much off as you can. All right, I'm gonna put the whites to the side and we're gonna go ahead and beat these yolks or whip them. I'm using a whisk. Um, feel free to use a, a hand beater or something like that because this is gonna take a little while without it. With a, with a hand beater, you can do it super quick. But even with a whisk, it doesn't take too long. And you're just gonna go ahead and whip it until it lightens in color and texture and that is how you know it's all beaten up thoroughly when you're aerating it a little bit so you're you're not just spinning it around you're spinning it and lifting up and dragging across and now we're going to take our sugar and just slowly incorporate it while we're whisking you could dump this in all at once you're going to get a better texture if you do it like this and you just do a little at a time. So as you whisk it together, it's gonna to start to thicken. Now we're gonna basically turn this into a non-cooked custard just by adding our milk, whisking it. You could slow down your pace a little bit so you don't slosh it all over the place. Follow that up with our heavy cream. Add in a little nutmeg, a little cinnamon. Go ahead and split open one vanilla bean and just kind of scrape those innards out. And then just add that to your mixture. You can also use vanilla extract if you want. Get that, gently whisk that all together and incorporate it. Now you can add other seasonings. Things that are common are mace or clove, uh, allspice too. Any of those winter warm uh, seasonings that people like to use all go very well with this. I try not to seriously overcomplicate this one. It is something that's pretty good just by with its basics. I'm going to put this part in the refrigerator to cool. Now we're going to go ahead and turn this egg white into meringue. And we're just going to whip it up. Add the sugar slowly. Again, feel free to use a mixer with this instead of a whisk, because this is gonna take a while, even longer than it took with the, uh, the yolks. Like the uh, yolk, you're not just spinning it, but you're also bringing it up a little bit so you can aerate it. And as you see, it's getting frothy. You can already tell it's starting to thicken up a little bit. This will definitely get you your Popeye arms if you want them. So after about 10, 15 minutes and you realizing that you don't have any icy hot in the house, you're gonna have something that looks like this. 
this is what I would call a soft peak and you want it to be at least this stiff. You could go a little stiffer if you want to, but this is kind of how I like it. And then we're just going to go ahead and then into a bigger bowl, take a whisk full at a time and lightly whisk it in. Right there is eggnog minus the booze. Let's face it, you make homemade eggnog for the booze. About three ounces of bourbon, maybe a little more. You can use scotch or rum, really any of the colored uh, spirits that you want, but bourbon is very traditional. And as a little extra, I heard about this, it sounded delicious. Like an ounce, maybe two, don't judge me, of chocolate liqueur. Give it a gentle stir, and that is some thick, rich eggnog. Serve it in a nice glass. Make sure you get a little of the extra frothy stuff on top. And if you want to make it a little extra special, grate a little fresh nutmeg on top. And that, my friend, is holiday deliciousness.